Hi my angels and welcome back to my channel. My name is Carissa. If you've never seen me before, it is so nice to meet you. Happy Ostera! Happy Spring Equinox! Oh my goodness, I am so excited for the spring and summer seasons. Spring and summer is by far my favorite time of the year, like the seasonal depression. It's literally just left my body and I could not be more grateful. Every year on the spring equinox, I have a few little traditions, and this is my first Ostera in LA in the bungalow that I live in now, and I don't really have a yard, but I definitely want to hang and dry some herbs outside to call in certain energies into my home. I want to decorate my altar for Ostera, and I'm feeling really called to go to one of my favorite nature spots, actually, and do a little springtime ritual, a little intention setting ritual because let me tell you what the springtime and the summer i am booked and busy like she is a booked and busy girl because i have signed on to projects and i am diving into projects of my own so i definitely need to make sure i'm very clear on the intentions that i'm setting speaking of projects i would like to thank today's sponsor me <laughs> I'm just gonna take the time to plug my Patreon really quick. My Patreon will be linked down below. It's really fun over there. It, at least it seems as if all of my patrons really enjoy the content over there. I have a podcast called High and Hexed, and I also do exclusive vlogs, tarot card readings, spell tutorials, all kinds of things. Really whatever my little heart desires. And if you sign up for the Patreon, you know, that money helps me out so much to fund my ideas and my artistic vision and my projects. So if you are at all interested in supporting this channel and supporting me and my writing and my art, <laughs> That is the best way to do it, to sign up for the Patreon. It's not like you are just giving money to me without getting anything out of it, you know? You get fun, exclusive content. So if you are interested in supporting me or the channel in that way, I will have my Patreon linked down below for you to check out. But yes, Ostera springtime, ugh, the best. This is gonna be the most fun witchy vlog. You guys are always like, Carissa, please, more witchy vlogs. And I hear you, I hear your cries, okay? <laughs> I hope you enjoy this one. At the beginning of the spring season, I like to do a deep clean of not only my home, but of my altar space. I wanted to decorate for the spring equinox and put various offerings on my altar for Astera. I found this floral piece of fabric that I thought it would be cute to decorate with, and I'm going to cleanse the crystals that were previously on my altar of any of the energies um, from the past, from the past few seasons, so I'm using my favorite mist to do so. I decided to keep a few crystals on my altar that I think represent the spring season very beautifully. Anything pastel, pink, lilac, green, yellow, orange is perfect for your altar for the spring season, so I am utilizing a green and yellow candle for mine because I love the energy they bring to the space. One of the symbols for Ostera is a bunny rabbit, and I found these really cute little figurines that hold jars, which I thought would be perfect to put some various herbs in, so I decided to use flaxseed for one jar. It is excellent for expanding spiritual awareness, and I'm adding a little sprig of pussy willow, which are one of the plants that grow at the very beginning of the spring season, so I love that for my altar as well. And in my other jar, I decided to add lavender because I love the way it eases anxiety, so I like to have that kind of energy in my home. I am crafting a spell bag that I'm going to take with me to my outdoor spring ritual for Astera. I am including some more sprigs of pussy willow because it really invites that energy of new beginnings along with the eggshells that I used for breakfast this morning, um, but I'm going to add them to my spell bag along with grains of paradise, which are really great for granted wishes and good luck, um, and a bit of lavender as well. And I'm just crushing up the eggs here so that it can mix with all of the ingredients beautifully. 
To add a few finishing touches to my altar, I am adding a golden rabbit because gold in color magic is great for abundance, as well as a seashell that a subscriber actually gifted to me um, because I always have to give something to Aphrodite on my altar. But yes, I'm really happy with the way it all turned out. flowers that used to grow in the yard where I used to live but I figured what could I do to bring nature more into my home my outside home so I decided to grab a few of my springtime favorite flowers and create little flower bundles to string up outdoors to set specific intentions and invite certain energies into my space of course I am using lavender and pussy willow like I did for my altar. Both of those are so great for protection, easing anxiety, but pussy willow specifically is perfect for any type of new beginning intention setting you're planning on doing. And I am also making a bundle of Veronica, which is a flower I had not used yet, but I thought it was really interesting because it had very strong protective and healing energy and emotional support. So I wanted to string that up outdoors as well. I also have these outdoor pagan chimes that I'm going to be stringing up outside. I'm a big believer in the sound of bells or chimes being able to keep bad energies away. And one of them had little jars attached, so I added some lavender because lavender is just a spring staple. I loved doing these projects because I just love working with my hands and feeling the sun on my face. <laughs> it's just the most magical feeling. Um, I'm trimming some chrysanthemum flowers for my outdoor ritual, so I'm going to be taking these along with me to cast a circle. Chrysanthemum has very strong protective energies to them. If there were ever a time to work with the earth element, it would be for Ostera. I am using the chrysanthemum buds that I trimmed earlier to cast a circle. If you do not know what casting a circle is, um, in a nutshell, it's basically a way to protect your energy and protect the energy of the spell that you are casting. It is to work inside of to keep all intentions and good energy within the circle and any bad negative energy out of the circle. I love working with the earth element for the springtime, so a way to do that is to bury a spell. So I am just <laughs> digging a very small, very quaint, not that big of a deal um, hole to put the contents of my spell bag that I crafted earlier into, and I'm just kind of making sure my energy is clear and that I am setting the proper intention for this spell. Again, I love to use my hands for spell work as well, but I am just making sure that the dirt is placed back on top of the contents of my spell bag, and I'm taking some white salt and drawing out a pentagram. I knew that it was going to rain in the canyon the next day, so um, I knew this place could get pretty muddy, so my intention is for the salt to just kind of sink into the earth with the contents of my spell. And I tried to utilize fire magic by lighting one of the green candles, but the wind was just a little too strong in Topanga this day, so the candle would not stay lit, but I did not let that stop me from dancing and enjoying myself, and I don't know, I just feel like whenever you are casting a spell, like, don't be afraid to spend time with it, dance around it, um, gaze at it. Dancing can be such an excellent way of moving energy through your body, and whenever I dance, it is 
very intuitive. Um, but yeah, I just like to spend time with the work that I crafted. And I don't know, I'll find that I pray or meditate or kneel or just try to connect with the earth. I'll press my forehead to the soil. Really anything that feels right in the moment. Hi guys, hi angels. So I really hope you enjoyed my a motorcycle. I really hope you enjoyed my little Ostera vlog and welcoming in the spring. I thought it would be kind of cool to end today's video with a very brief <laughs> tarot card reading for you. Um, a little message from Spirit in regards to the spring season um, of what you can expect. And I'm only going to pull like one to two cards. I'm going to make it a bit fast because I have to go. Spirit, Ooh, that was really quick. Four of Swords, Four of Swords. Okay, so that's making me think of rest. I need a clarifier. Ooh, the Nine of Cups, the Nine of Cups. So the Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment. Um, with the Four of Swords, this is making me think that the time you took to rest in your winter period, during the winter and fall season to recuperate, to recharge, you know, that is only going to bring you an abundance of emotional fulfillment. Anytime there's a cup in a tarot card reading, it's in regards to your emotions. So I don't know, those of you who rested and took the time to replenish your spirit in the winter season and meditate on your intentions for the spring. I think that is definitely going to work out in your favor. I'm feeling like this spring is going to be really, really lucky and a lot of the intentions we all set back in winter are going to be coming to fruition for the spring and I couldn't be more excited. This is my favorite season. But I hope you enjoyed the video. I love you guys so much and I will see you the next time. Bye.